Hello, I'd like to talk to you about rates of growth. Two, uh, two pro equations here, can't even tell you what they are. I'm so excited about talking about rates of growth. Over here, this would be future value minus present value over present value. This would be the growth rate over all periods. And if I'm just looking at growth rate per period, this is future value over present value raised to the 1 over n minus 1. This would be the growth rate per year. In fact, both of these equations come from the future value formula. And if you remember future value, but let's just for quick uh, review here. Um, let me see if I can show it to you here. Remember future value equals one equals present value one plus r raised to the n. If you solve for r, you get this thing over here. And if you solve for r but treat n as equal to 1, you get this over here. So one time period. How much, you know, if you have something in the present, how fast will it grow over the whole time period? But we'll look at that a little bit later. Let's look at a problem to kind of get a better feel for these two. According to the Consumer Price Index, I just went to the Department of Labor and looked at the Consumer Price Index, and it looks to me that something that cost $10 in 1913 would cost about $218.06 in 2010. What's the growth rate in prices over this time period, both annually, this one, and over the whole period? Well, let's set it up. So here we go. So 218, that's our future value. That's our later number, right? So 218.06 divided by 10. It's our original one. Take all that divided by 1 divided by, well, 1913 to 2010. 2010 minus 1913 would be, if I calculate correctly, 90, ah, no, I don't want that, oh, come on, right, 90, doesn't want to, ah, this is getting a little old, I guess, doesn't want to write 97 years, come on, just start, give me 97, okay, I'm going to touch, turn touch off on this one, see if that helps. 97. Thank you for letting me write 97. Getting a little old there, trying to write it. Come on. Okay, we got it. That was pretty lucky, wasn't it? And I know that was... Okay, and that's going to be R, the annual growth rate. I calculated this, actually, just a second ago. And I calculate that that is about 0 .00, 0 come on, 3 to 0.0322, let's say, and then 8.5. That's what my calculator came up with, 0 0.032285. Did I have to carry it out that many places? Probably not. This is just multiply by 100, move the decimal place over two places, and that's about 3.0, actually not 3.0, 3. .0, 3 point, let me erase that, make sure I write the right thing. Okay, now let's write it. Three point, move it over, and 3.22, right? I'm just going to put about 3.2%. So the inflation rate was about 3.2% per year, or the growth rate was about 3.2% per year. Now over here, okay, where's the other one? Uh, come back. Okay, there it is. So we have future value. So we're going to use this formula. What was the overall growth rate? So 218. 0.06 minus 10 divided by 10 is equal to, and I'll put the R, it's also R, but that's R and we'll just say total or overall. I'm going to put total, it's shorter. And here would be annual. Eh, I don't want to write it in there. So 218.06 minus 10 divided by 10 would be um, 218.06. 0.06 minus 10 would be what? Uh, 208.06. So price went up about $208.06. And then divided by 10 puts it in percentage terms. And I calculate that that is about 
um, if I got it right here, to um, I get twenty point eight oh six, which is two to move the decimal place over two places. So 3.2% growth rate per year for 97 years means that the prices have grown 2,080.6%. Give it enough time, things can grow pretty pretty rapidly. And so it looks like our average inflation rate over the you know over the last 97 years, almost 100 years, has been about a little over 3% in the United States. So now let's look at this future value thing. Let's assume my present value was 10 and it grew at 1 plus point over there, 0, 3, and I'm going to carry it out two more, couple more places, 3, 2, 2, 8, 5, raised to the 97, because remember n is 97 because it's 97 periods, r is at 0 0.032285. What does that equal? And I bet, and actually I should check that out, double check it, and I haven't calculated this first. Let's see if you can calculate it faster than I can calculate it. I just thought it was a fun problem. So 10 times and 1 plus 0 0.032285. Probably didn't have to carry it out that many spaces, but I felt like it. To the 97th power. And I calculate 218.0534. So I calculate this is right here. Actually, let me get my writing utensil. So 218.0534. So actually, I could have carried it out a little bit further. We have a little bit of rounding difference. But notice, I double-checked my work. I am pretty close. In fact, let me double-check my work over here one last time just to make sure that I put 10.032285. And it looks like it worked. And so we are just a a little bit off, uh, but pretty close. So notice the relationship between these different formulas. This future value over present value raised to the 1 over n. Be very careful that you divide 1 over n before you, or you calculated this and then 1 over n up here. I've had students where they didn't put a parenthesis around this in the calculator and got a very wrong answer. So make sure you take 1 over n is what you're raising the power to, minus 1. And so here we have 1 over 97, 218.06 over 10, 97 years between 1913 and 2010. Make sure you subtract the 1. And that will give us a 3 point or 0 0.032285 if I calculate it correctly. I'll always double check my work and move the decimal place over two places. 3.2% growth rate in prices on average per year since 1913. And over here, well, what's the total change? 218.06 minus 10 divided by 10 gives me 20.806, which is 2,000. 80.6%. So over time, you know, 3.2% isn't a huge growth rate. It's a good growth rate, but it can have a really big effect in the economy over time. And here, double checking our work, putting our 10, 1 plus 0 0.032285. If I went a little bit shorter, 0 0.032, um, two, um, probably a little bit more rounding uh, or difference, but raised to the 97th power, and I get 218.0534. So there you have it.